Hi, Chris. How are you? Long time no see. Rob, how are you? It is indeed a long time no see. I would say it has been at least... Four hours? Four hours? Should we tell everybody? How, Five hours? Should we tell everybody about today? Sure. Today, Saturday, or Friday, May the 1st. Yeah. May the first be, may yep. the first be with you. Um, we, um, Rob and I, um, Rob and I met today. <laughs> Along with your family in the no, car. I didn't want to go down that road, Rob. I wanted to make it sound a bit, bit more, a bit more exciting than that. Um, we met in a car park um, at a at a, <laughs> at a at the Chinese supermarket. Um, we were exchanging some goods. Um, uh, Rob laid said goods on ground. Um, brought and walked away. Slowly. Walked away. So backed off slowly. <laughs> um, I moved in. We both took a photograph of the event. Um, and then we uh, we chatted at a I would say a distance Rob of at least four and a half meters five meters safe distance safe yeah. distance with a, with a sideways wind I was glad it wasn't blowing toward you or toward me yeah exactly you figured that it was out was blowing between, between us you're observant yeah, yeah well, I, I felt that yeah, too yeah, well, you, know, you don't want to be you don't want to be crazy you know what I mean yeah. we did look I think it did look a bit like. Bit suspicious. A bit, it was either a drug squad meeting or a drug deal, drug deal going down or something. Yeah, when that when that Range Rover came zooming into no. the parking lot and came to a screeching halt beside yes. us, and those Iranian and the Iranian gunmen sticking. To the, no, that was a, that's a film. That's Back to the Future, isn't it? I get confused with reality sometimes. Oh, Rob, 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 let me a microphone, everyone. Um, a kind, a kind gent that he is. Um, you know, a much much appreciated journey, and, but you know it's my first time away from Bangor. Oh yeah, mm. I felt like a I felt like I've been to Marbella. <laughs> it was a big big journey, big journey. We filled the car with petrol and and all the stuff that goes with it. Well, Rob, oh, that's nice. You, Family day. Out. It was you know you know what we 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 had a we had a, we had a terrific day, and I think. What was like whenever we get home? I come straight to the room to do excited with the microphone um, to get uh, to get the um, the sound quality sorted. Um, and it's magic. I just shut off my raids here. They were whining away. I forgot they were on. Uh, so it'll be quieter at my end here now too. That's how you have a quiet end, Rob. I have um, nothing here on. I've um, taken everything off. Um, I feel very bloated. I had um, what did we have? We had champ. And pea and long beans and um, some sort of vegan sausage. I don't think the vegan sausage has agreed with me. Yeah, too much processed foods, dude. Yeah, it was everything else. Mm -hmm. ever, ever, we don't really do processed, so it's definitely heartburny, let's say. We did the five night curry. Right. Last night of a five night curry. Very nice. Same curry for five yeah. nights. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Bit of a, a bit of difference in the mango chutney or something. Was there something to spice that up? Um, black pepper. Very nice. So exotic. Black black pepper, cumin, and coriander mm. with some tamarind. That's that's all the spices we can use in this house. Why? No nightshades. So oh, of course you don't do nightshades, do you? Well, I do nightshades, but Olivia doesn't, so mm. I cook with no nightshades. You're very, you're a kind, loving husband, Rob. I feel we, I could feel we could venture into cooking as well. Not just, not just camera. We could do cooking stories from around the world, or certainly for that's the way it's ending up here tonight. Around the country. What's What's your first story, Chris? My first story is a good news story, Rob. You know, you, you, really? you know, you don't yeah. like good news stories. Um, I'm not going to read it this time, or am I going to read it? No, I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to wing it. No, I'm going to read it. You don't know if I'm reading it or not. You can't see me. You'll know whenever you get the thing. Okay. Well, essentially, I'm on uh, I'm on Variety um, uh, magazine, and uh, film production restarts in Sweden and Denmark um, under new uh, COVID nineteen rules. So we're we're um, starting to exit out the other end, um, do a bit of work. What do you think of that? Hopefully, it's not premature. Well, as Sweden, I was reading like this article is really nice. Actually, it's it, it's nice and nice, nice depth to it. Um, Sweden didn't do the whole lockdown stuff. They kind of managed it in their own way and are starting to come out the other end pretty successfully. Yeah, except they still had what six six thousand deaths so far. It, it, they haven't they haven't fared well in the deaths department. In fairness, in no. fairness, but what they're saying now is that um, with a bit of diligence and uh, you know due care, they're saying that the 
the movie scene and TV scene might be back up. Now, is that due to economics or is it due to you know safety? Pressure. Yeah, yeah, pressure. We don't we don't know. Yeah. But it's made. It's, I think it's a little premature myself. Mm, mm. I think that. I think. Well, you do what? I think five five weeks and people are going crazy. So five weeks and people are going you know, crazy. I, th I think you need to settle into the good weather. Yeah. You know, get in the garden, go do something. But yeah. you know, government needs to you know be in government and do their thing and figure out reliefs, economic reliefs for everyone. But yeah, I, I don't think anybody should be going back to work yet. Well, what they're saying is that there's a maximum of 50 people on set, and they're also saying that... Um, that they're going to live together? They, well, do you know what? Actually, there, there's talk of... Well, you've probably read that as well. There's, there's talk about housing everybody. And not in this article, but over here, they're talking about um, productions. Now, how they would pay for that, I don't know. Um, how it would work out for family life, I don't know. Uh -huh. um, Take over a hotel and take over a hotel. Just the circus comes to town, I suppose. Which isn't much different whenever you're away. You know that that does. Yeah, but the, then you know, and then the thing is, is you know, unless everybody is tested as they walk into no, that hotel, yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody everybody needs to be on their own group quarantine. Yeah, but then you have you know you have chefs, you have, yeah, and they can't go anywhere. They can't, you know, you've all, all you know, so it becomes its own little city. It becomes its own little city. It's an interesting way. It's an interesting way of working, but it'll be. We'll see what happens. You know, I was thinking stills is kind of a unit of one anyway. You know, you're not really, you know, you, you, you could you could work pretty safely doing stills. You know, you don't have to be in people's faces. Um, but uh, yeah, but uh, they're even talking about that whole six foot thing is not really being no, I know. far enough because yeah, it'll it'll linger in the air yeah. for yeah. hours. Well, but it, 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 it's a good. But it, it it's good. It's good news. It's good it's news. Good it news, is yeah, good yeah. news that somebody's doing something, and you know, might be a little premature, but well, it's good. Well, news. That's, I think Sweden, Denmark can be. I, I always, you know, it's not. Um, yeah, I don't always sound too much, but it's they, they're they're they seem a sensible enough bunch whenever it comes to, um, to, to all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Rob, what's your story? How many stories Rob, do you have? Today? I have, I have uh, one, two, three, four, but four. Uh, a couple of them are just sentences; they're not much, you know. But the, but okay. it's, it, it's okay. interesting. Oh, nice. I'll wing through then. Yeah. I'll wing. Many of you, you have three. I got two. Two. Because you know what? Yeah. I really there's again this week. There's nothing that really interests me. There's there's a couple of little small news items, but all of the gear, all of the the software stuff there's nothing that's really groundbreaking that's no. doing anything specifically for me yeah, I hear you. you know they're talking about that new sony the you know sony has filed for a patent on some camera and everybody's talking that it's going to be the sony a7s3 yeah, 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 yeah. you know which is going to be the new crazy video camera yeah. stills camera that's going to be prosumer yeah. and you know going to break the whole market wide open yeah. again whatever it's not that exciting. You can read about that anywhere. True. I got two stories for you that I find are interesting Good. and that means something to me. The first story is, do you feel like you're in a rut? You're not alone. Jesus. Are you trying to field yourself through the quagmire of news, Netflix, and noodles? Oh, noodles. I actually net Netflix and noodles. Kind of, kind of, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much you. I found this great article on how to deal with what you're going through, both mentally and creatively, Ooh. during this whole lockdown. It's in Rangefinder magazine. Oh, okay. And it's written by this woman who's gone through PTSD and she has, you know, first hand account of everything. Hmm. So she's written it. Now, I'll just give you a brief synopsis of of the sections of each of the article there's the ne neurology of your rut okay why it's okay to do nothing right now oh. how to get unstuck oh. fight and flight oh. Feisty. and freeze oh that i actually love playing that game more take, take your honor yeah like that. so it's 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 act, you know i skimmed through it it's it's a good article i'm gonna reread it a couple more mm. times but basically, it's telling, kind of tells you how different steps to get yourself out of this rut, if you have a rut. If, 
a mental rut or a creative rut. I'm personally going through both of them right now. You know, it takes everything for me to pick up a camera right no, now. Yeah. You know, I'm getting sucked into news every now and yeah. then just because it pops up on my phone every now and yeah. then. But I hear you. You know, it's a good article and it'll be down in the description below. Well, you know what? You're saying that, but driving into Belfast today, you know, a couple of things. One, I live by the seaside and it is very villagey. Um, you know, it's people in shorts running, cycling, um, swimming. Like, honestly, that's all that's. Crazy. That's all that's going on. But whenever, you, whenever I drove into Belfast today, the, there was a series of about 14 billboards all in a row just driving in from uh, Bangor. Empty? No. Depression. Suicide. Oh. How to deal. The Samaritans. It was just like big, big portraits, big font. Yeah. And you're like, okay, these guys are, this is a big, this is what the, this is what the agencies are doing clearly. You know, it's a big, a big drive to do because they know. You know, I think in China it's already happening, in France it's already happening. You know, there's a lot of a lot of um, unhappy people about. Um, mm-hmm. But th- those articles are really, I find, I think, yeah, that's really important. I think it's um, because some people don't really, especially if you're creative. You know, it is, it is, it is kind of, especially if the weather isn't good. You know, when the weather's okay, and you can get out and take a dander up the fields and everything else, or up the beach. But whenever it's raining, you know, and it feels a bit more closed in then that can be a bit of a head, head, head racker, for sure. Did you just hear that plane take off here? Was that wrong? Did you hear that plane? Was that actually a plane? Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't. The plane just flew over, just taking off from Belfast International. That was probably dropping COVID all over your house. That's what they're doing, you know, Rob. <laughs> oh, I can't even joke. <laughs> chemtrails, chemtrails. Chemtrails, yeah. They've just, they've just at, uh, they've just taken Ike off at, they've just taken Ike off Facebook. You know who that is? Who? That's a shipping plane. No. It's parcels. Oh, really? It's postage. There's nobody on that Why plane. Why you say that, Rob? No, there isn't. Really? I, I know the schedule. No. <laughs> There's no planes. There's like hardly any tours planes taking off, cons- like um, passenger planes. Well, you know, my off. friend has just come back from French Polynesia. She was over in Tahiti. And it oh, took yeah. her six months to go across um, working on boats. And it took, I think it took her 18 hours, um, four flights, and she was putting stuff up, spreading putting stuff up on Instagram, completely empty Paris, completely empty uh, airports, completely empty. Yeah. No, 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 nowhere to buy water, nowhere to buy food. Um, like five people in a plane, if even that. Crazy. Crazy. And then you have those flights in the States mm. that are packed, mm-hmm. totally full. Mm-hmm. And people are complaining that, you know, nobody's wearing masks. Yeah. And insanity. insanity. Wow. What's your next story, Chris? Next story, Rob. Next story is, let me go in here, is, um, well, is it news? It is news, of course, it's news. Um, I'm looking at a new, a new site called Nearest Truth. Okay. Um, yeah. And Nearest Truth is a... Um, a it's essentially, it's just, uh, uh, <laughs> well, we know I have my favorites. Um, it's Brad from American Suburb X. Um, mm. in, uh, it's a, a podcast, essentially, of conversations. Um, oh, yeah. So it, and it, What's it called again? It's Sorry. called Nearest Truth. I'll send you the links. It's absolutely fabulous. Right? And I'll tell you why I like it. Okay. And I'm not reading this off the thing, but I'll tell you, I'll, well, I'm going to read you what he says, okay, and then I'll go into it a wee bit further. My objective is to circulate interviews, conversation, and have general dialogue about contemporary photography and a few other topics that interest us from music to cinema and literature. But whenever you go in and listen to it, it's, it's Brad talking about the introduction. Um, and it is, um, it's, uh, 95% of it is unedited, so... He's very keen that it comes across as a conversation. So it's kind of, there's a lot of, as he said, a lot of winging it, a lot of uh, just shooting the shit, shooting the breeze. Um, so sometimes it'll be a bit awkward, other times it's quite funny. Well, it's very funny. Um, so, have you listened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was t- chatting to him today about it. Um, and he says that there's, he has 19, I think, ready to go. Um, at the minute, there is, let me just see when he's on here, episodes. There was three on it earlier on. 
He's flying through it. There is now but eight. Nad, Nad of Kandar, um, Roger Ballin. Really? Yeah, yeah. Michael Mack, uh, Lisa Barnard. Um, so it's 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 magic. You know what I mean? It's, wow. Yeah, I was lucky enough to have a conversation with Robert Ballin, MEP, in Paris in November 2019. And it literally is just in conversation. Which I, I, know, I think that's... Because, you know, I'm a massive fan of Martin Silverbacks, but it is texty. You know, for me being uh, for me being a bit a bit ropey with the old reading, um, yeah. For, to have this where it is literally just two people having a yarn, and it's kind of the gaps and the stuff that happen with that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's very refreshing, and I am super excited to get into it. It's going to be my nighttime routine, um, and he's super keen that um, it's shared, shared as much as possible. So if any of the people are, uh, are listening to this. Um, Share it, mad. I think the more people that um, share it, the better it's going to be. It'll be down in the description. Super duper, and it, it's kind of it's going to. I think I think it's actually going to be. I think it's going to be quite groundbreaking in a sense. Anyway, it's going to be groundbreaking. Time. If you're going to listen, listen to Brad's introduction. He's got a beautiful tone to him, um, and it's just uh, the way he explains. It's not RC. It's not. It's just kind of. I don't know what in conversation. It's in conversation, but you know what? It kind of links to what you were saying about the piece about being in ruts and stuff. You know, it kind of feels like it's kind of digging me out of that. There's an excitement in it. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're yeah. flying, Rob. We'll look forward to that. Good. What's your next story, Rob? Um, well, I'm going to bring you down <laughs> a bit. Know. Bring it back to reality, <laughs> because. Us freelancers are not worth. I thought you were going to say we're at home. Go, we're staying at home. I thought right you were going to go broad and say humans. I thought it was really a really big one. Okay, yeah, well, we're yeah. sent home. You're right. You're right. We are. Except the other people that we work with, the agencies. Yeah, I like this. They're still at work. How are they doing it, Rob? That is the question. What are they using for artwork? Mm. For their collateral, for their clients. How would you find this out? Is there a way of finding out if stock images, the sales of stock, have raised? <laughs> um, I'm sure somebody's going to write a story on this yeah. because it is. I mean, it, it is quite interesting yeah. because you know those agencies and and if you're dealing with retail and stuff, they they consume so much yeah. collateral, course, yeah. like so much. Yeah. It, you know, it's got to come from somewhere. So where is it coming from? Mm. Are they are they re- licensing images? Not. Are they repurposing old artwork? Well, I was going to say that repurposing. I would imagine uh, illustrations. Are they? Is are there they, graphics yeah, yeah, yeah. illustrations? Yeah. See, in the past, you know, couple of months here, mm. I've seen so many new little stock agencies yeah. popping yeah. up, but today. I found a new one. This new agency, mm-hmm. Sound for Sounds oh, for Audio, okay. and they have an absolute niche market with this stuff that they have. Okay, they, it's called Ambisonic nice. Sound. Yeah. So it's 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 three hundred and sixty degree recorded sound. Mm. So it's very mm. unique sound recordings. Yeah. yeah. They have hundreds of free sounds available. No. Hundreds to download for free. For free. Where are they, where, no where are they based? It's the Rode, Rode Audio. Oh. They are the guys who make microphones no. and stuff. It's their Ambisonic Sound Library. Okay. So you got to think, you know. You've got something that's worth something, yeah, and you're giving away for nothing. And people are willing to pay for yeah. it. Why don't you just even, even if you do like a five pound a month per subscription, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. just a nominal fee? Yeah. But to give stuff away like that, mm-hmm. it just it lowers the market so far down. Christ. And cre- you know, anybody else who's doing ambisonic, you know, recordings yeah. for some other sound stock agency, mm-hmm. they're going to be out of business. You know, their images, are, they're they're they're. Their samples, their audio samples yeah. are, are, you know, the same price now, worthless. Not worthless, you know what I mean? Like, no, they're I still know. worth something, yeah. but their, their price 
you can't price them for anything. Well, like with this conversation in this market, whenever things do return or start to return to some sort of normality or whatever the new normal is, um, you know, we just have to stick to our guns. We have to stick to the. You're you're just right because because what will happen is there will be this attitude that we we you know people are going to be out six months worth of money. They're going to have to try and recoup. Um, so they're going to try. Somebody's going to get shafted, and generally, generally, you know, the photographers and the freelancers are a pretty easy target for that sort of stuff. Yep. So no, you're right. But you think about it though. You think about an ad campaign, yeah. okay? And you think about how much the photography is actually worth within an ad campaign, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or even even not an ad campaign, just just a regional, you know, point of purchase, something like a one-off deal. Yeah. Like that photography is such a minor part of the budget. Yeah. Like, why would you bother Scripts. on scrimping yeah, yeah, yeah. so much yeah. on that little piece of photography when a lot of the times the retouching budget yeah, is more Christ. on the photography? Yeah, of course, absolutely. So why would you go out and look for a photographer that's that's charging half the price and probably a quarter of the quality? Well, your production, but, you know, of another yeah. photographer. It just doesn't make any sense. Anyways, yeah, anyway. I don't want to harp on it, but there's another sound agency, sound sample I can't, agency, I can't wait. giving their stuff away. For can't, wait, can't wait to go on to it. And download everything. Download, and download everything for free. And download everything because I need Make it. Make a mashup. I don't really. And sell it, sell it on Etsy as some sort, of, some sort of artistic. Do you know what, Rob? Yeah, I just thought of something. I could, can I make sound waves from the 360? And sell on his prints. It's it's just a thought. Yeah, I don't know what the I don't know what the, the terms and conditions are on their website no, yet. We'll just have to, yeah, 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 yeah. What's your next, next story, story? My, Rob, I'm just, We've got about three, three or four okay, minutes my, left. Mine, mine's, mine's easy because they're really quick. Um, uh, British Journal Photography, as we know, I do like to do a feature every every week. Um, access everything on BJP for one pound. Okay, um, one pound. It's a COVID nineteen offer. COVID nineteen offer. One pound. One pound for a month. One pound for three months. Um, one pound for three but months. But listen to this. How can they do listen, that? This is even better. Our thoughts are with all the photographers affected by the COVID nineteen outbreak. Here's what we're doing to help. Okay, British Journal Photography have been around for one hundred and sixty six years. And this is this is good. We've seen the photography community through two world wars, Great Depression, Spanish flu, 2008 financial crisis, digital disruption, and more. We'll get through this together, okay? So what they're doing is they're doing a they're doing a, a one pound. It's usually thirty quid or something. They're, or 20, it's usually thirty quid. I think they're they're dropping off twenty nine quid for that. Um, so I get what they're doing. I get we have time in our hands and all that sort of stuff. But you can access all content awards and platforms for just one pound. Now there's a roll on subscription. So once you do the one pound, then that'll roll on for three months, I think it is. And then, of course, you'll be, you're not hit, but you'll be, pardon me, there's that sausage. Um, you'll be... Uh, you have to remember in, on the fourth month to either join yeah. up or understand that you're going to be joined up automatically yeah. or yeah, yeah, cancel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. But it's nice. I like it. Next one is really quick, and it's a good news story because it is Freelance Foundation. Um, and it's um, for artists and freelancers in England, Northern Ireland, in partnership with the NN, the Artist Information Company, £1.5 million um, uh, pound emergency fund. And that's for, um, that is for uh, freelancers. Um, and it says freelance creative practitioners and artists across the UK. Now, I haven't went into this yet. I'm going to go in and see it, just, uh, just a little quick glance of it. And we also know that, of course, that the... Um, the uh, the Northern Ireland Arts. Um, God, she has my head away with it. Um, the what are they called, Rob? Arts Council. Arts Council. Good gravy! What's going on there, Mister Barr? And um, there's lovely sunrise. It's taking my mind off things. Um, the Arts Council, of course. The sunset. Sun, what did I say? Did I say sunrise? Dear bless us all. Um, yes, so the sunset. Oh, um, God. Um, it's better than last week where I did the wanky sign, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling kind of buoyant um, with the whole thing. Yeah, so we know that the Arts Council are also giving away, um, not giving away, but uh, they have a, a, a an emergency art grant as well. So love the art grants, love the fact that there's money to be had for artists and creative freelancers. Um, mm -hmm. So 
you know, this is obviously where we're where we're at. I'm going to certainly be um, be applying um, to see um, to, to see to see to see what happens. Not everybody will get it, but we'll see. That the 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 um, the stipulations and some of them are not difficult, but it'll definitely preclude some people for sure. Um, mm-hmm. But anyway, it's money that um, isn't going to uh, bomb houses in uh, in other countries. I'm happy. <laughs> That's oh, great, Chris. <laughs> I think if that means I will get it or won't get it, am I more likely to get it now? I've said that. Am I putting myself out there? If only I knew some Bob Dylan tunes outright, I could now get the harmonic out and start playing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> that's me. Four four stories in. Too short. Too. That's great, too, Chris. Too, too, too reasonable. What was that, Rob? Was that? That was twenty nine forty nine. The cameras are just going to click out. Yep. Right, Rob. Thank you so much. All right. See you later, see Chris. You, Bye. And off.